You're not gonna hit the rack, you're just pulling branches. Good to go. Yep, you're slow, slow. There you go. YouTube, it's Mountain Metal Anthony here with another one for you. I'm getting my metal delivered right now. We're about to go ahead and start making some railings for a uh, school that I'm about to go and uh, do some install on. So we're back here at my general contractor's house. He's allowing me to use his shop because like I said, he's a solid dude. Um, just another reason that I went out and did that job the other day that you guys see me do the trailer job for free. Um, we got past the hard part. And now we're about to get to my hard part, which is starting to fab these, keep these things square and make sure all my measurements are correct. So when we go to install, everything goes flawlessly. But as you've seen in my videos in the past, that's never really the case. So I'm not expecting it. All right, guys, stay tuned. This is where we're gonna be working today. Beautiful location. So we're just getting the metal in. El Carcol is here. Big Tom soon to be here. And uh, let's get this metal unloaded, huh? What's up guys, so I'm back here on site, I'm making railings, and I have my boy, Big Tom on site. There's his rig, there he is. And you can see why I call him Big Tom, he's a big dumb motherfucker. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'll show you what we have set up, I'll show you what we have going. We're whipping these things out in 40 minutes, um, and we have to do 80 plus inch railing sections that are gonna go into a Catholic school to keep the kids from jumping off the second story. Don't ask. So what Big Tom's doing here is using that brick as a stop, so that way we can uh, ensure accuracy for every picket. Ends up working out really well, and we're also cutting about five to six of these things at once to speed things up a little bit, because in this game, it's all about speed. So here's our jig here. You can see Big Tom over there. He's sweeping it off so that way we don't have any metal uh, changing our, uh, our angles. Everything's nice and flat. And basically what we're doing is we're just butting the metal up against here, clamping it down, making sure everything's square, and then laying our slats in. This is a picket finder. Basically you just lay it out and you get even spaced pickets each time. So you don't have to sit there with a measuring tape and measure between each spacing. All right, so me and Big Tom are gonna get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing spaced out. Go ahead and get this next one welded in. I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse so you can watch us get it done. Okay. Because we're trying to match existing railing, we're gonna go ahead and measure in to what the specifications were for the existing railing below. Because this is a top railing. This is to keep kids jumping over the existing railing. So I'm trying to match that so it looks as professional as possible. Yeah, I'm square. Dead nuts. So what you see me doing here is lining up my, my picket tool. And this, see how quick this makes this. No more measuring. No more sitting there with a the measuring tape like a dope. You just go ahead and Mark out where your pickets are and then move on. When you're marking up to your next set of pickets, you just line them up with the existing, square it off as best you can. And then go ahead, mark. All right, and then we'll do the rest once we get down there. Now, Big Tom's gonna do the same on his side. Just like that. Now that we're all marked out and ready to go, we're gonna start uh, setting our pickets in and welding them one by one. Because everything's clamped up to our jig, I'm not worried about making it. 
So we are just going to continuously weld these things. Got to tighten. The reason we're not using two different welders is because the power in the shop simply couldn't support it. It only has 30 amp service out to where Scott put this thing. So we just settled on doing the buddy system and passing the torch back and forth. It worked out pretty well at an average of about 40 minutes per railing section. And you can see how much time this paper tool saves us. You can get this on Amazon for like $19.99. I'll put the price up here. Um, so if you guys do handrails and you're not aware of this tool, I don't know what you've been doing. So you'll notice that Tom is ambidextrous. He's actually a lefty, which comes in super handy. I'm glad to have uh, met this guy and have him working with me. All right, so Big Tom's gonna chain some wire out. We are almost done with this one. We're just gonna flip it, weld it from the backside after the wire's changed, and then we're done with this railing. So Big Tom here owns his own welding company, but sometimes we team up when there's a big project and I need a little help. And uh, I know Tom's a skilled guy, so I can rely on him. I don't have to sit there and, and try to babysit him or teach him anything.
gotta cut more fucking stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, YouTube, that's how you properly set up, jig, and weld out a handrail. At least, that's the best way I know how to do it. If you want to check out what Big Tom has to offer and what he's up to, he's on Facebook on, at, what is it? Uh, Big Tom's Mobile Welding LLC. So go check him out. He's a great dude, a great welder. You know me, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Let's put